Well, it looks like Arch Manning and the Texas Longhorns are going to be having another weapon to be thrown to since you guys picked up one of the best. Ooh, -hoo -hoo! my boy's moving it. Picking up one of the best wide receivers in the class of 2024 in four star receiver Hunter Modon. This guy looks smooth out here and he's got some wheels to match. Let's go. Like I said, he's class of 2024, so you gotta wait a little, you gotta wait a little bit of time before, before you see him over there playing in that burnt orange, but this kid is ridiculously talented. You can see he's got speed, he got size, he's six foot and a half, about 175, 180. So he's got more than enough size to be playing solid slot or outside receiver for the Longhorns. And then just get the slide on him. Just get the slide on him. Cut back, yo. And then just make it look easy. Number 15, you did a good job. You know, you, you really did a good job trying to get there, but too little, too late. Bink? Hey, I like my guy, I like my guy's tenacity. I always love seeing when wide receivers are playing like corner or something on the defense side of the ball in high school because it just shows their natural physicality. Because as we should all know, wide receiver can be one of the softer positions in football. So the fact that he has no issues being a little bit more physical, that's going to help him a lot at the next level. Got my little kick return, little punt return. Let's see what you got. Swoop. Nope. Nope. Okay. I, I was about to say, if he breaks out of that, it's about to be crazy. Yo. If wide receiver does not work out for my guy Hunter, he will do just fine as a DB. But no, I think he's gonna be I think he's gonna be a really solid wide receiver for the Longhorns. It's gonna give Arch Manning another weapon to be thrown to. Hey. The Longhorns are the Longhorns are stacking up. Hey. And especially with how poor the Texas AM Aggies have been playing, I think that Texas is about to take another leap even more in their recruiting game because I know that the Aggies got some money, but you can't keep on just getting players off of just money alone. I mean, you can't, but like you got to have some type of winning record. It's not like the Longhorns don't have money to help these kids with NIL money as well. So, hey, I think that the Longhorns are going to be the de facto team to go to if you're a Texas recruit from 2024 on, probably until 2020 or 2030, something like that. Yeah, my guy Hunter, this guy, he's an all-around athlete, very physical as a wide receiver. Solid. So, so far, he showed that he's got solid hands. More so, we're seeing him playing corner, but I do believe that, especially on that first route where you just saw how just quick that he was. Ooh, I thought he, was, I thought he would brought that down with the one hand. Yeah, especially for him being a junior, he has so much more time to improve and to continue to just grow in his skills that I'm excited to see just how much fat. That was a great throw. Oh, my gosh. That was a phenomenal throw. Great catch too, but man, that was a laser of a throw. But yeah, my guy Hunter Modon, this guy, he's gonna be out here. Ooh, oh, no, yo, yo, why'd you have to do him like that? You didn't have to do him, he said, eh, whoop, 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 whoop. nope, number 41, you lost. Get off me, and then just get to skating on him. So these are his sophomore year highlights, so he's only gotten faster, but this dude, he is a straight up playmaker. Number seven, this had to be one of the worst tackle attempts I think I've ever seen in my life. That was bad. That was just flat out bad, my guy. I'm, I'm sorry. I got to keep it 100. That was terrible. Dime. Let's go. So the Longhorns got themselves another weapon for Quinn Ewers slash Arch Manning. I'm, I'm assuming that Arch Manning is going to be the guy once Hunter Modon gets to the to the Longhorns but overall I think this kid has a ton of upside very very athletic kid overall I like the I like the aggressiveness and the physicality it's still up in the air it looks like to see whether or not he's playing more corner or more wide receiver his friend his saw or junior tape it looked like he was more of a mix between wide receiver and corner whereas in his sophomore year tape he looked to just almost exclusively be playing wide receiver so I don't know if that was just because the team needed him to be playing corner or what but overall I do think he's going to be a better wide receiver so hey Overall, this is a great pickup for the Longhorns. Be sure to comment down below who's you guys, who are some players that you guys want to pick up in the class of 2024. Also, be sure to leave this video a like and hit the subscribe button if you want to see the Longhorns continue to dominate the college football world. And with that being said, I love and appreciate all y'all. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.